Welcome back to another episode of Method Debrief. This is episode five. Um, apologies. Actually, I'm not even going to apologize for last week's episode having zero footage because right before we start filming, uh, I said to myself, this camera that's set up is a red camera. It's not going to record anything, anything that we're doing. I, I gave Gerber the benefit of the doubt. I said, okay. I said one minute is like 100 gigs. Maybe he figured it out. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. It completely failed me. So now we have footage for this episode. So, and this episode, so there's no everybody footage on four. No, there was no footage. It was literally just posted the podcast audio, which is posted with a screenshot overlay because it only recorded. Oh, shame! It shame! Only filmed, shame on you! It literally only filmed like a minute of our, us talking. Oh. Remember when I got up? I, I didn't like, even fucking know. I was that. like, "Oh fuck!" And you guys were like, "What happened?" I'm like nothing. We're good. <laughs> yeah, you fucking acted like. Yeah, I was happened. like, I played it off. Nice. I just like Gerber handle it. Um, so last episode, nobody got to see your face. That's so sad. Yeah, that sucks. I felt horrible. I actually oh, felt damn. more. I, I felt know. more. I felt worse for you than right. I did the actual people listening. Right. So that's the only reason you invited me back this yeah, week. No. Is it was <laughs> just out of sure. Need, no. People need to know pure who you shame are. Yeah, and pity for for me. No, so no, I appreciate no. it. It's a 50, I appreciate 50. being back for for it's round a, two. It's a 50, 50, 50. At least the heat is on right now. Okay. All day. There's still no pretty heat. cold in here. Yeah, it'll it'll warm up. Um. Anyway, I think uh, I think last week's episode. You know, this whole week actually. After that last episode four, I kept texting Nando and Kevin, telling them that we need to uh, give everybody, all of our athletes, and debrief specifically an understanding of what phase two is. I feel like we kind of just like said we're going in phase two. We didn't really give a breakdown of as in depth as we could directly to the athletes. We did more like a little bit to the debrief. Um, so I kind of want to hit on that a little bit more, what they're going to be expecting, and then let's go over what we did this week. So let's go over what we did this week first, and then we'll talk about phase two and specifically. So kick it off, Kevin. All right. Um, so this week, um, where do I even start? It's a lot of stuff that probably with Monday went would be good. okay, and that's a good, a that's lot a good of starting stuff that point. went wrong. Um, more good though. There's definitely more positive this week. Yeah, I think there's more pros. So we started off with tempo work. You know, oh yes, yeah. just little squat. Throw everyone a curveball. Uh, I'll tell you the truth. That was at like 5 o'clock in the morning when I was doing that. My brain was not operating the right way. So I did my first couple sets at normal speed. And then I remember looking at my phone. I said, holy fuck. It's supposed to be a tempo. And in the middle of my frustration, all I could do is curse you out. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't I, even mad was at myself. You know, I just blamed I, I, you. I threw that in there and I was just yeah, like, I just know, blamed you. I think everyone's going to hate me for this, but yeah. I'm going to leave it. Yeah, but I'll tell you actually one more thing about that. I think what effed me up was the fact that I still struggle to record the start the workout. So like sometimes the only thing like that we have to work on is like on our app. Like when you go to see what you're doing for the week or if doing for that workout, it gives you like a small preview. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, 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 yeah. Click on it. And it doesn't show you yeah. everything until you click start workout, which I'm okay with. I understand. I know, yeah, it. I did notice that this yeah, week. Yeah, it is it is a little frustrating. And that's exactly what happened Monday. I kinda was just like I saw it and I was like, ah, I'll just go I'll just get yeah, start yeah. it. I think that happened though. Um <laughs> but listen, that's means I just gotta keep doing it. I gotta start the workout so I can read it. But that was a that was a hard one. Right. That was a good so one though. Some people use the app, some people just don't. You know, that's what something like we wanted to get feedback for was when you use the app when I preset the time, sometimes, like, it, you, you mentioned something about it, and I was like, I have no idea. Oh, the 10 minutes for the, yeah. for the so, bike. I mean, I don't need to set that, but I could just write it in. I don't really know how to figure that part out yet. But the other thing was, like, today I'm trying to figure out if it works or not. I'm hoping it does. But, like, for Tuesday's workout, it's the uh, – 80% for six reps on the strength workout. Awful. Bench press. Yes. Awful idea. So you don't, you could type in your own weights. Like even if you do know your one rep max. Yeah, you can input if your you're, own Like let's just say you're a power lifter or like you like to just lift heavy and then you go into method uh, complete and you're like, I could bench. 315 for one. Address 100%. me by name, Kevin. I know you're talking shit about and me. And then. Address me by name. Yeah, but your bench And then also all sucks. of a sudden, you type it in, and it's like, <laughs> so oh, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's 255 for six MRAP. Hold on. I'm going to get folded. 
All right, so now you lowered it to 225, and you're still like, oh, shit. This is still hard. Yeah. This is still very hard. So if that happens, just type in the weight that you did, and then it'll give you an estimated one rep max off to the side. It'll show you, or at least I'll see it on my end, and then that'll help you in the future in selecting weights, where if I give you a percentage, it'll already show you. But that's only, I think, if you start the workout. So and not, add it in the notes. Yeah. And then um, that part, I would say that's the only thing I needed to mention was just like if you use the app, type in your numbers, even if it's not your true 80%, whatever you did that day, at least type it in and then it'll help you do like the math in the future. Yeah. And like I said, utilize the notes page because there you can, if you write something, like we all see the notes. So like right. if something, you didn't like something. Or, you know, you you regress from whatever the percentage we were demanding from, and you write in the notes, like, hey, I couldn't do that. I dropped down to 70%. Let us know in the notes. So when we're not reading it the next day, we're like, damn, this guy crushed it. Right. Like, he, oh, he did 315 for six. Like, that's an AMRAP. Like, that was a good work. But then you're like, oh, he actually did, like, 225. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the notes are important. Um, track everything? Yeah, we need to be able to track that type of stuff. Um, what happened Wednesday? Wednesday was just cardio. Yep. What was that it called? Was... Don't fall off the treadmill. Is that don't fall off the treadmill? <laughs> no. That, uh, don't fall off the treadmill was Thursday. It was Thursday. Oh, yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Don't fall off the treadmill. That was a. Uh, that was an easy one. I I think the name the scared pen. me. Yeah. Depending on how you did it. Yeah. Like if you're gonna go like it's twenty seconds on repeat. On the treadmill, RP nine. Yeah, that one. Six. No, five rounds. Yeah. Five rounds. But just 20 on, 20 off? It was... It progressed. It was, yeah. 30, oh, the first one was 30 seconds, 30 second rest. Um, then 20, 45, 20, one minute. And then 20 seconds again, minute 30. And the last one was 20 seconds again, two minute rest. And all the, all the 20 but seconds... Basically, were, like, the extra rest. time for rest was just... You to, didn't do it? Just so... Yeah, I could Just tell. so it forces you to <laughs> get, like, I, a I, true I, RP9. I, I didn't want to fall off the treadmill. That's just what it was. I, I saw the name, hey. and I ran away. It was scary. The I thing did, about, so the thing about the app, um, which I like, but I kind of don't like, but I, it's like I, I, I'm okay with it, is when uh, you're doing those types of workouts, like it's an AMRAP or it's a time limit, and then at the bottom of the screen, it doesn't tell you, like, what's next. So it's, like, next round. It, it's not, like, yeah. telling you, like, oh, this is yeah, your last so you one. Like so I'm, like, prepare for it. I really hope this is my last one. Yeah. Shit, I really <laughs> hope this is my last one. Like, and all of a sudden, one. like, you don't see the arrow. You're, like, oh, my God, this is my last, last one. one yeah. You're, like, oh, thank God it dinged. Yeah. Yeah, I've, been, was, I've, been, uh, I've been just picking, like, a number of rounds that I'm, like, aiming to hit. And oh, then, I mean, then, then you depending, it, yeah. depending on how, like, depending on how it's going, I either like, really fucking push it to get to it, or fucking coast yeah, then you're like, coast coast <laughs> am I downhill yet? Am I, how many like, I, I did, I did, what did I say, Kevin, for the, for the bench today? I said I was going to do six rounds, right? And I ended up doing, I ended up, like, with 30 seconds left to do the last round of both. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then I did the, the uh, penlay rows and the snatches, too, and I ended up doing 10 rounds of it because I didn't make the weights heavy enough. Yeah, that is it. Yeah, that's like a pacing type that workout. Happens. Yeah, it's like about all about pace because I've done those where I'm like the the deadlift, the fat bar deadlift, and uh, dumbbell snatch. Uh, it was dumbbell power. Clean. Dumbbell power. Clean. Yeah, that one I was. I have that on Sunday. I was pushing that one. Don't hit that Sunday. Excited. I was on. I was on a time crunch. It was yeah. like, oh my god, six a.m. I gotta go. So I was like, I gotta as fast as I can go right now and burn through it. Um, I mean, so that that's another thing of um, phase two is more grip. Focus. Yeah, let's talk about phase two. Right. So oh, dude. The, okay. Anything you got me doing, pinch carry? The, the pinch yeah. carry oh, stuff. So pinch carry so, suck. Yeah, the grip work is going to be big. Um, I, I want... Because, listen, grip is, is a lot, a, a huge portion of everything that we do. Right. Not even for complete in general. For any any lift in the gym, grip is, is a huge portion of it. And a lot of people are going to be humbled during this during phase two phase of it. Phase two grip work because they're going to think that they're, oh, I have great grip. Oh, I can deadlift and I can do all, like it. Listen, holding a 45 pound yeah, plate for five minutes is going to crush you. Yeah. Like dead man hanging for an AMRAP is going to kill you. Yeah. Like that, that's the stuff that it, no one really takes into consideration when they do training. 
they think, and again, like it goes back to like, so I remember when Taylor first came to the gym, um, this is like a weird topic, but when Taylor first came to the gym, he uses, he uses straps, Taylor Atwood, strongest guy ever, whatever. And, uh, I remember one day I was like, why my idea of it is like, why do you use straps? To me, they're like a band aid. Why not get better grip? Why not work on your grip? Right. But then he just like defies all logic with like his deadlift, like 700 plus deadlift. I mean, at, at that elite level, it's just, you just turn on a switch. Oh, and absolutely. It's like, yeah. It's right. just like, oh, I'll pull 700 today. No big deal. Like, but that, that's like somebody that doesn't really need nice. to do grip work. But <laughs> imagine yeah, if he did do grip work. Yeah, it would, it would be even better. Would it be better? Right. Who knows? Could be. Only one way to find Only out. Only one way to find out. Taylor, do method. Hit yeah, phase he two. Should, he, should, he should. Oh, hit phase I, I two think method. adding in the fat bar deadlift is actually pretty good because you're only you're limited to your grip strength, right? right. So like it's in a way safer. Yeah. Um, even for like if we in the future we do fat bar cleans, can't go that heavy. Well, you can't really go that. You heavy, can't and also and talk about is better technique. They're talking about me. So when he first started doing regular cleans. My face usually is just like, Ugh. <laughs> Ooh, you know, like, I uh, don't like the way you just did that. It wasn't bad, but, you know, it's like, they were, they needed, like, they were ugly. Hey, college. No, uh, yeah. D1 athlete. You, you expect better things. No, but <laughs> no, I was just like, no. Oof. And then he started doing his training for the tactical games. And then the fat bar, the fat bar cleans. I'm like, dude. It looks so much better. Like, what changed? And then I realized, like, it takes away some of the stuff that makes you uh, have bad habits. You know, like, you, there's only a certain way you could grip the, the fat bar, right? right? It's very straight wrists and everything. So, like, it makes your elbows go through faster and just the way you hold it. Yeah. You don't want to turn your wrist while you're holding, the, like, the fat bar. Right. So, stuff like that, it helped reinforce better technique. And it... Helped him a lot. It you know, with me the a lot. turnover speed was just better. Yeah, it, like completely. I felt way like I literally only used the fat bar for ten plus weeks yeah. after that, which it hurt me eventually because it like I, I feel like my strength obviously I couldn't load the bar as much. Like I was, yeah. that was starting to like deteriorate a little bit. But then I went back. To, I started pulling a regular bar, got that strength back up, and I'm going back to the fat bar. Fat bar is definitely life. But like phase two, phase two will be a lot of barbell, uh, fat bar work, which yeah. I'm really excited for, for everyone to, because most, listen, most gyms don't have fat bars or most people have never used a fat bar before. Right. Especially I, at our gyms, we only have the regular size axle bars. A handful of times. Like in my comp, we, in comps, we only use the stubby fat bar, which is a little bit lighter, but you can load it up more. Like you can use it for different things. Like if I'm carrying it, it's, it's not easier to carry, but it's more manageable because the, the plates are shorter, shorter. they're closer into you. Um, yeah, we gotta get some fat bars, some stubby fat bars for the gym. More. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, I, you have an interesting story. Why don't you tell people about your story today? My story? Yeah. What happened at the gym while you're working? Guy came in. Oh, but yes. don't drop Guy, any names. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to drop any names. I, listen, I think it's a great story. I think I, I, it's the quintessential. It's like the pinnacle I of was what I yeah, want yeah. method to be. So guy came in, was going to cancel his membership today. Started talking Not to because him. he hated the gym. No, no, no. Yeah, it wasn't about that. He was like, oh. Premise on that. Didn't hate the gym. Wanted to change it up, like his style of training and everything. He's like, oh, you know, I'm getting older. I want to be more, you know, just in shape, more functional training, that type of stuff. And what he explained to me was literally method. And then I told him about the app, whatever. And then he ended up trying it now. Yeah. You know? Free trial, and now he's gonna say so. And he fit perfectly. He, he absolutely. Was, he was explaining that he he you know, he joined F forty five. He's trying to get you know get into better shape, wants to run, and he f- he felt like this wasn't the place that could help him, which is odd. But maybe it's just listen. That's just what he was a big power right. lifter. It's probably he thought that's what it was. And he mentioned like CrossFit stuff. Yeah, and, and, and that type of thing. So. And that's basically what we've been harping on for five straight episodes now. Is like, it's that this training is applicable to your life if you want to. Be healthy and be more functional. You can live through complete. You right. can utilize complete. You can u- utilize our other programs. Do you want to tell your story? Which one? The guy. <laughs> Which guy? That you had to save. You had to carry him. Oh, oh yeah. Don't use names, but like <laughs> I, just tell. I, I, I got to say I don't even know this guy's name. No, no. Um. So, went on a call last night. 
Definitely not a call I was looking forward to. I was just about to sit down and eat dinner. I had my phone in the microwave. I had 15 seconds left, and I get a call. And, uh, you know, usually usually I would I would think twice and just kind of like, like oh, I gotta eat. but then it came over, you know, it was it was a man not breathing. Oh, God. So I was like, uh, holy shit. So I uh, left my food in the microwave. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Uh, You're hearing the tragic. beep as just you wasted. walk out. It's absolutely wasted. <laughs> But uh, no, just I I went to the guy's house. I had to run up. I think I think I ran up like five flights of stairs, and uh, we got to the top floor of this guy's apartment. Um, EMS was already inside. They're doing the Heimlich on him. I'm in there trying to like, I'm talking to the to the wife. I'm talking to the daughter. I'm trying to let them know you know everything's gonna be okay. Uh, luckily, the guy was breathing while he was still choking. I think he had a piece of chicken caught in his throat. Just forgot to chew. Poor guy. What's he gonna do? Um, long story short, time. long story short, we're gonna transport this guy to the hospital because the food was lodged in his throat. Um, the only people left on scene were me, this one scrawny little paramedic guy, <laughs> That's all right. and uh, my sixty-six or sixty-seven-year-old sergeant. Oh my who, god! Uh, <laughs> you know, I see him good. around. Uh, so you know, we're uh, we have this thing's called a stair chair. And uh, it's a chair that has tracks on it so you can help people that can't walk get down flights of steps. Uh, we were going to let this guy originally walk, but his pace was, like, bad. It was real bad. He, yeah. was, he, was, not, he was not moving. It took 15 minutes just to get out of the house, and his, his hallway might have been, like, smaller than this. You know, it, was, it was not looking good. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to thank Method and all of my functional training that I'm now doing with my grip strength and everything like that because me and this... I can't say this kid had to be more than like 135 pounds. He, uh, we, we had to carry this man in the stair chair down the steps. That's rough. So we threw the tracks down and we started putting him down, but his weight. You had the bottom handle or the top handle? I had the top. Oh. I had the top. Oh, so, so. Uh, grip strength. <laughs> yeah, the, here's, here, here, comes, here comes the grip strength. I mean, the tracks hit the steps and just gravity was like. Come oh, here, boy. <laughs> Straight down. Let's fucking send this man down the steps. <laughs> so I, I grabbed the top of the rail with my with my right hand, and I grabbed the, like the top of the banister. With my other hand, I'm just like fucking fully spread out here. You should take a picture of that method, method right run. there. Like, the literally all method. My light, and I'm just shimmying this man like Fuck. down the steps. And we literally got to the point where I told the kid, I go. Just get out of the way. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, just, yeah. I'm yeah. carrying this man down the steps. Yeah. So I had the paramedic step away, and I literally just the whole way I had him just holding him like this with the top of the at the top of the chair, and just slowly let him go down the steps. And then we picked him up and carried Fuck. him like out of the out of the thing. And literally, I wanted to just fucking tip him over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. um, Roughly, how much did he weigh? If you had to say, definitely over four bills. Probably Oof, like no way. Four generous really? to five. That, yeah, I dude, told no, you me to hit your sandbag. Jesus he was Christ. A big boy. So like I, 300 is I don't know. That's not. So yeah, he, he was a big boy. I saw them do, doing the Heimlich and I was like I don't even know how this is working. Yeah, yeah no. like how we, oh, yeah. I, I don't know. Oh, so, so, like, listen, yeah. dancing on his chest. Yeah, literally. <laughs> um, but I listen, I talked so much shit about the stu- like the, the programs and stuff that you used to do and uh and I gotta, I gotta bite my tongue and take it all back. To be honest with you, dude. And like real I, life situation. And then once I started this, I was like, no, this is great. Like, I'm gonna actually train to be a cop. And like, this isn't honestly what I thought I would be doing. I didn't think I'd be helping fat people get down the steps. You know, I thought I'd be, you know, <laughs> obviously diving behind cars and sending shots off. And so yeah, yeah. like all the stuff happened, you see yeah. on TV. Like, I didn't oh, think man. I'd be helping fat guys down the steps, but um, you know, this this program definitely is uh, definitely changed my. My album. No, it, definitely I, making me more functional and more. And I'm telling, I don't. Like, it's not him just saying like it. That. Like I've had people come up to me at the gym and being like, "Yo, I see what you do. Like, what can I can I train with you guys when next time you guys train?" I had two people this week come up to me, ask me when we do uh, Sunday Rock Club because mm-hmm. they saw our workout. I'm like, "Yo, can I join too. your Sunday Rock Club?" Yep. I'm like, "Yeah, dude. It's it's Sunday Rock Club is open to anybody. Anybody right. that's listening to this right now, you can join Sunday Rock Club." One, don't you, don't, ask. you don't even have to be a member. You just hit us up. Just come join. We're trying to grow that group. And two, like, if you're part of Method, you can come whenever you want. We write in your program, Sunday Rut Club or yeah. Low Impact Cardio. Like, you can come do the workouts with us. But it's cool to see people see us doing those. 
So every time you guys are like, oh, I don't want to do that, I'm like, shut the fuck up. Get on the fucking treadmill with your rock and let's go. I, I'm not going to lie. Like, my first Metcon that I did with you, I was like, I, there's no shot. Like, I'm never, I'm never going to make it through this. Oh, no. I was like, this is going to be fucking horrible. Hey, and it was like a 10-minute. You told him. A 10-minute. No, it was just like a 10-minute like EMOM. And I'm like, all right, I'm done. Like, it's, it's 10, 10 minutes, minutes of your minutes life. 10, 15 minutes of your life. 15 at max, usually, right? Yeah. Is is what it, what they are like? It's fifteen minutes. If you can't spare fifteen minutes to go hit something like hard, we, I don't even. I'll tell you the truth. I don't even consider like when I do the metcons. I don't even think of them like that. I don't think of them like oh, like twenty minute metcon, ten minute metcon. I do like the uphill downhill battle. So like, if it's a ten minute metcon, I have to bust my ass for five minutes of that metcon, and then it's all downhill from there. Right. Then I I've gotten through the hard part. I I hit the halfway point. Now I just need to get through it. Yeah. Push myself, get through it. Like that's what I do with like all the cardio, and everything. Like whatever the time limit is, whatever the rounds is. Like the one, listen, the one, the Sunday Rut Club workout we did. The, the two hundred, the Sam, the mm-hmm. fucking. When I got done with one round, I was like, that was so easy of one round. I'm just going to crush another round. Yeah. Like that, that, but I had that mentality. I was like, I'm already halfway done with it. I can, I, it's all downhill from here. I can yeah. finish it quickly. Yeah, that's how I look at when I, I can't do the time like that yet. I'm not on the AMRAPs. I'm not with that. Yeah. Well, the, listen, that those for the AMRAP yet. listen, but those for, are about pacing. But when you tell me like, yo, you only have five rounds of this. I will fucking bang I do, those five I, rounds I, I out that, as fast as possible. Yeah, yeah, I can't. I don't like the rounds. I like, I like rounds. the rounds. I'll finish it faster it, than the Depending on what minutes. it is, I Listen, like the You rounds. don't get to decide because the first Sunday bad. Rut Club workout that we did, <laughs> him, the first one we did, first Sunday Rut Club. I was like, fuck it, five rounds. I was rounds like, no. I, <laughs> no, you said something. You were like, no, let's do this. And I'm like, I'm so let's pretty sure like that's going to be harder. You're like, no, it'll be easier. I'm like, no, I think 28 minutes of work will be easier. And then we ended up doing like three and a half three, rounds. We did yeah. three rounds of a workout in 30 minutes. Is that the one minutes. where you had to run up those All stairs? Yes. Yep, up and there. remember, he was like, dude, let's do four rounds. I'm like, I'm pretty confident we'll finish in under <laughs> four rounds. But if you want to do four rounds. And then we all died. Like the third round hit and everyone was like, we have a minute left. Like, <laughs> Let's take a minute. Step step up, the step up. Everybody was on the step up. Everyone's like. like Hey. <laughs> what was the Metcon that I did yesterday where I was like, can I just do five rounds? And you're like, no, dude, oh. do the 14 minutes. Yeah, that do was the 14 good. minutes. And then I, I ended up finishing it, it was five like rounds in 14 same. minutes anyway. It was the same thing, essentially. I forgot which one that was. That was the... Uh, was that the comp one? It was the sandbag. It's the one, I think, for tomorrow. With the... Uh, so it's yeah, then it was the, the, the climb, climb over the two boxes, yeah. sandbag over the boxes, because there's no more yoke. And then I, the run. That, that's a great workout for it if, you're, if you're pursuing criminals or even criminals would be great. <laughs> great. Right. Hey, it's a criminal. Great Sign up for Matt. Hey, hey. you're gonna be able to <laughs> hop over fences. I can't wait. We got until you. I'm in a goddamn foot pursuit with somebody. And you just hop <laughs> it. I can't Clear wait until I'm in a foot like pursuit that. because I pride myself on being like. Wait, you did the boxes? That, huh? The two boxes? Yeah. Two boxes. Yes, I so pride so. myself on being like that dude that's like, I'm going to fucking catch you, but I can't wait to find out that the dude I'm chasing down just so happens to fucking be on the method program <laughs> oh, too. Oh, dude. He's on phase four of method. It's like my fucking RP 11, and it's yeah. just not going to work for me. So for context, the workout is uh, the yoke up and over, uh, sandbag over yoke, and then the assault runner, 200 meters, like RP 9. So you're full tilt. Sprinting as fast box as you can. Box is not tall enough. The double box yeah, is not so tall. They're, they're a the replacement. They're not the actual. If you have a yoke, you use the yoke, yeah, use yoke. Yeah. at chin height. If it, if you don't, then you use the double six stock stack no box. No shot. So. You're gonna do sixty <laughs> inches on the box though. That's no, like, you can't. So you, I'm saying you're just you gonna, have to. Yeah, the it's like not yeah. even safe. Yeah, it's not. I don't. I completely. The two agree. boxes weren't safe at all either. Yeah, but that's okay. But that's it's the so best easy. you can do for now. But and yoke, you're supposed to touch your feet at the top. I touch, so yoke, I touch my feet yeah. with the double box. You have to. We know, made this argument. You can't. Cl- you literally cannot clear the boxes safely without yeah, touching no, your those, feet. You those, have those, to. Those I thought you said you do touch your feet with the yoke on anyway. the yoke because the yoke is a is a fat bar. It's the top's a fat bar. You have to get your feet to the Just top. Just bring the one back. I don't know what to I tell need you. it. Bring it back. I need it. Get another one. Yeah, I, yeah we another should one. get another one. But everyone uses it as a fucking coat rack. We'll figure it out. Space for whatever. But anyway, yeah. So. All practical stuff. Um, a lot of stuff is changing more towards grip focus and longer endurance stuff. People are getting used to it, though, so it's no longer getting challenging. Yeah. Hey, you do method, 
you get better. I don't know what to tell you. Simple. Breathe now it's, uh, now it's up to me to come up with really messed up stuff for people to do. Phase three. Listen, we, was, listen, we, we have, have messed up stuff. Ryan Bloom okay. today. Look, Bloom. At the, look at the difference between me and Ryan Bloom today. Yeah. yeah. Zombie's been doing method now. This, I guess, is like technically my third week third doing week, yeah. it. Yeah, but you know what's so funny him, about him is he literally makes fun of me all the time. He he calls me a fake wannabe seal. He'll make fun of me all the and time. Then he fucking and then he does yeah. one and he'll die. And yeah. then he won't come to the gym. He won't talk to me for a couple of days. And then he'll I had just like a, randomly I had a show pause up. Our, I had to pause our uh, I had to pause our time. He was dying. He was on the phone. No, no, no. He oh. took a phone call a little yeah, too long. Yeah, okay, okay. Phone call. I I ended up having to like I lapped him twice, and he, he the one thing he made me promise he go don't don't lap me, don't lap me. So I had to pause the thing and fight and sit there and wait for wait, him. He, oh, he did the comp. The he did the comp. No, we did oh. um we did the bench. We did the bench oh, okay. and, uh, and yeah the press, and then we did the pen lay rows and the snatches. Bench. We just did both strength workouts, and then I was like, yeah, I'll do the metcon with you if you want to do metcon. He goes, no, <laughs> no, right. we're not doing it. Maybe he'll do the set. The he'll do the comic on tomorrow. <clears throat> All right, that was a good episode. You guys had anything else? Uh, we're good. No, I think we covered everything. Yeah. All right. Um, Sunday Rock Club be there. Yeah, Sunday Rock Club yes, be there. If absolutely. you're listening to this, it's Sunday, so they're probably not going to get there in time. But be there come next week. Next week, next week yeah, next absolutely. Week. And be on the lookout for our new program that's coming oh, out. Oh yes. yes, I don't know if we're going to mention that. Be on the uh, be on the look. We'll have more. I think we talked about it last episode, but they're we're. Already at our time limit, so we'll crush it next time. By then, we'll send out an email, get everyone on it that wants to be on it, and then uh, that's it. So if you guys have any questions, hit us up in the forums. Um, You guys can message us on Instagram, follow us on Instagram, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you guys next episode.